Hi everyone. Good come, evening. Come on in to Piccadilly Stampin'. Let's just see. How if, are you guys tonight? Ah, uh, here I've gone live. Hi oh. everyone. Ooh. I had the volume on there. I hope I don't have it on this one. I got that up for you so you can see. Yep. Okay, and let me get. Yes. The There's four people. Hi, Jean Shu. Hi, Jennifer Land. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jackie, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, Jackie. Angie, hello. Jackie has a 21 year old son. He does. It's his birthday today. Oh. Well, is that he, is crazy. Is he with her? I don't, Stampy? I don't know. I don't, I don't think he's a stamper. He's Looks like he's a trucker, though. He had a semi, so mm -hmm. you can appreciate that. I don't know. Ask Jackie. She'll tell yeah. you. Hi, Mary Jo. Hi, Angie. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Deborah. Thanks, Jean. Lori. Hi, Deb. Hi, Lori. There's the other Jean. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Jill. So, um, tonight I'm going to be doing some fun stuff. And I have been kind of horrible about sharing some cards. So I'm sure this isn't every one of them. But I definitely want to share a couple of cards that have been sent to me for you guys to see. This one comes from Laura Land, who is on here, right? She's on here. Hi, Anna. Hi, Marsha. Marsha, you're going to love what I'm about to show you. So this is from Laura. Isn't that adorable? Yes, it is. Look at this one. I like that one. This one's from Sherry. I think it's so cute. I love but, this bunny. Love that bunny bunny. Do you but have I, that? I don't have that, no. Otherwise, mm. I'd have been doing it. This is from um, Jennifer. And she says, you are amazing. Of course. Right? Did you ever question that, Bill? That you're amazing? No. Why would I, <laughs> why would I question that? <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing from Beth Ann. She sent this for Easter. Is that not cute? That is awesome. I love beautiful it. Beautiful Beth Ann. Beautiful. Is Beth Ann on here tonight? I haven't I seen her. Solid. Did you? Hi, Barb. Maybe Hi, Karen. Uh, Hi, Gracie. Jill's on. Jackie. Barb. Yeah, I didn't see Beth Ann. That's kind of. She may be gone. Um. Oh. Yeah, this is from Debbie. Is this from Debbie? I gotta look. Yeah, this is from Debbie, isn't it? Oh, I can't get it open now. I don't. Fumble Fingers. I think this is it. I love this stamp set. Still one of my favorites, and I love this um, die cut. In fact, we're going to be, not this one tonight, but we're going to be using from the same die cut family tonight. Okay, let's go. Speaking of Jackie, check out this. Very beautiful, Jackie. Someone knows how to use her blends very well. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. I do too. It's that book fold book binding fold mm -hmm. oh speaking of Jackie again oh wait 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 okay you ready for this I, I want to see your socks get knocked off but look oh at, wow look at that so she's got a window yeah she used and I love how she inlaid she cut this out twice so that she could inlay the Eden's garden how stinking smart was that That's and then awesome. with these cute little wellies I love it but then look at it, it opens up like this but wait, there's more. There's more. Uh, is that fancy or what? That is awesome. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Well, like, wait to come feel this. Feel how heavy that is. Well, that's more than a stamp. <laughs> she said that. Oh, speaking of Jackie, look at this one. Okay. Did she send you a box of them? Yeah, she did. Talk about going above and beyond, right? But look at this. So I this like is like is. super cute. This isn't lattice. This is butterflies. But she... Yes, how like she did that. it. Yes. yes. So look at this. It is placed on the card with just the little wings hooked up here. But then she did an insert card so that you can... Isn't that just above and beyond? That's awesome. And she did the envelope. And she did the envelope. Yeah. Okay. This is from Mary Jo. One of my favorite Mary jo, sets. Mary I like that purple isn't awesome. that gorgeous i love that and then she did the matching envelope and she did on the inside so i always think that's cool so if you're in my vips these were for um a vip 
um, one of my contests. Yes. And um, so they did awesome. And then this is from France. It's been a while since I... See, I haven't been showing cards. I need to get back in that habit again. But isn't this gorgeous? This is from that new um, tulip paper. And I love this. And I love that she always does extra on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. So thank you, you guys. I just thought that would be a cute way to start off tonight. Yes. So I awesome. have another thank treat you. starting off tonight. We know that the, the new annual catalog is starting, when does it start, Bill? May 3rd. May 3rd. I can't open the catalog yet to show you what's inside, even though I want to. But I can show you things that I've purchased with the catalog. And there are some really, truly amazing things. Did you so, buy a stock and stickers on that one? It looks like you got a lot of things you <laughs> Oh, hush. Oh, hush. These are absolute needs. They're not wants. You can't live without these supplies, right? Okay, so this is um, our colors. Let me move this over a little bit in the center. This is our colors with our in colors put in here. And I, I do this every year so you can kind of see. So this is a brand new in color called Starry Sky. I got to look. Yeah, Starry Sky. I, <laughs> I'm still getting used to the names. And then right beside it is the Orchid Oasis. Now, I want you to remember this one. I'm going to pull this up because we're going to be using this tonight. This is really, really pretty with, and I'm just going to show you because we're going to be using it, with the Fresh Freesia. I've got a really stunning card this evening. And then I've, I've put in our Knight of Navy so you could see these kind of have that... Um, a uh, little bit of red in the blue, and then you go into the Night of Navy. Then you have our Misty, no, Balmy Blue. Sorry, I'm going to say Misty Moonlight. Then this is the new Tahitian Tide. So these three are brand new colors just this year. They are gorgeous. I mean stunning. Three out of five are blue. Three out of five are blues, yes. And they're true blues because if you see, the Tahitian Tide is... Is it goes very well with actually the Pacific Point. I wouldn't have not, not known that until I had put them together. And when you look at what we have for Stampin' Up, and I didn't realize this, I'm not, it's not that I dislike blue, but I tend to like the green blues. Ah, beautiful color. But obviously, we don't have just blues. So having some blues to have some variation, I think, is going to be really fun for a color palette for us. So this is the blues, and these three are new. Now let's go into the reds. So do you know, come up here, Bill. Do you know which one of these is the new without Oh, you knew right away, didn't you? That's, it looked like that picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good eye. So this is our cherry cobbler and, of course, our real red. And then when I look at this, I thought these two, which they do go very well together, but these two really do also. I guess it's just a matter of... Real red and that one? Yes. What, what is so it called again? This one's called Sweet Sorbet. It's our brand new one. Oh, it's got the ice cream on it. That's good. That's why you picked it, right? That's right. Bill's favorite food in the whole entire world is ice cream. And you can't get enough chocolate on it, in it, beside it, around it. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> if there was... Chocolate's a food group. We used to have a, a food group. He <laughs> says chocolate's a food group. We used to have a color bill called Chocolate Chip. Oh, what happened to it? It retired. It just retired, yeah. As trends come and go, so do our colors. Chocolate Even chips never go out of, tr out of style. <laughs> Ask, tell France that. She won't eat chocolate, so... Okay, and then this is Poppy Parade. So you can see it's definitely lighter than the Poppy and um, maybe kind of the same. It just depends on how you put them together. If I see these two, I think they go well. And if I see these two, I think they go well. So um, not as bright, I would say. Definitely reminds me, we had one called Watermelon Wonder. And I don't even think it's as bright as that, but there's something about the intensity that it's a little more muted. But that's kind of that combination. And then, who remembers Lemon Lime Twist? Do you remember Lemon Lime Twist? You don't? Okay. No. Or is, it, is that what it was called? 
know. Lemon lime. One of my um, Stampin' Sisters, I know you're in here. Was it called Lemon Lime Twist or what was it called? There was a bright green that we had and I was in love with it. Well, this is Parakeet Party. And this is the new green. And right beside it is my ever favorite is the Granny Apple Granny Green. Granny Apple Green! But Granny Apple Green looks so dingy compared to the Parakeet Party. And it does! Wow! I know! I would have never thought that because this is so bright. I'm in love with this. I I'm in love with this. are starting to turn colors here. Are they? And then so beside bright. beside that is... Oh, um, France says it is Lemon Lime Twist. It was Lemon Lime Twist. Okay. And she still has some. Oh, I still... I still do too, but not very much. So I'm glad to see this. One of my faves. And I actually almost, I'm, I'm going to have to go pull out a sheet of that. I know I have the ink left in the reinker, but I don't know if I have any more paper left. I'd like to see the difference, really. This is Pear Pizzazz, which now to me just looks very, very muted. <laughs> this is the old olive that was... Oh. What? I'm, I'm laughing. You're laughing at that? Yeah, it just seems very muted, doesn't it? Which is good, because sometimes you need something. This reminds me, in this setup, I know that this is darker consciously than our old uh, Certainly Celery, but there's something now that's taken that to Certainly Celery level to me. Um, this is Old Olive, which to me really turned kind of army green. I know. Does I, that... I was thinking, looks like a woodland camouflage pattern. <laughs> Kind of. Now, I didn't add, like, our our other greens that have, like, the blue in it. I just went with the yellow greens to show the variation. And the last one on the end is the garden green, which kind of starts going into your, Dark like, sh shaded spruces and your, yeah. Mm. So, um, and of course, these are so muted. This is evening evergreen with the soft succulent. Oh, wow. But when it comes to green, I don't care what project you've got to work on at all these days. Stampin' Up! is going to have you covered right. every green. So, And I think we're doing better in blue. I would like to see... Um, and that's May 3rd. Yes, that these go available for you to purchase now. Unless... Lest they join up. If you join up right now, you can pre-purchase everything in your starter kit. It's a hundred and twenty-five dollars worth of product that you get for ninety-nine. You pay the tax; they pay the shipping. You want to take those for me? Okay. So I thought that was a fun little comparison. It is. And um, I have got, well, you an, got announcements yet. <laughs> just a couple. I don't have many. Um, I just wanted to say that. Uh, my VIPs will start getting their annual catalog coming very soon. If you're not in my VIP, you're not working with another demonstrator, and you would like a catalog, please message me, and I will get them to you as soon as I possibly can. I'm waiting on a shipment for them. We only have a couple of announcements. Um, sign up for my newsletter. This just kind of... I try not to send one, um, you know, every day or anything, but I, I send especially when there's news coming in or specials ending. And speaking of specials ending, we've got Paper Pumpkin is going to end the 10th. Sunday. Yes, Sunday. Um, last Chance stuff. Yes, the Last Chance stuff. And I know that there's stuff sold out. Um, I had done this card last week, which we're going to be... Um, having these Giveaway. tonight for the drawing mm -hmm. and I have no idea if that if the daisy punch is on there or not anymore I hope so um and then the very last thing there's been some confusion about my Piccadilly perks so I'm just going to take real quick so it's every $35 that you purchase per time so if you purchase um 3507 it's still only going to count as one perk but you get for every $35 purchase per time, you're going to get um, one of the letters to the word Piccadilly. When you get 10, you get a $25 shopping spree on me, plus I pay the tax and the shipping. And um, I have now got it to where you can um, save up two of these so that, you know, you have more to, like, get a bundle set. There's bundles that are um, under $50.00. You can get, you can save up two and get fifty dollars. In fact, um, uh, Lori just ordered the Stamparatus. 
She um, did. Yeah, on me. And I paid the tax and the shipping and everything on that. In fact, that should be coming this week, Lori, if you're on. So um, this is per time. And I need to just verify because I've had a couple people say, well, I want something, but it is, you know, it's $54. Well, the thing of it is, is I have to really treat everybody the same. And so I've cut it off at that limit because um, of being able to give you guys uh, an amount of discount that I get um, from my profit. I give that to you guys. But and I like to be able to do that for you. But if I start going over with everyone, then I've got to track who's over this time that owes me that time. That's just too much work. So let's just keep it to $50 and um, below. Lori and, says she's excited. Oh, good. I'm excited too, Lori. Okay, now, should we get to the stamping? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I was just, I was just seeing if there was any more comments. Okay. Thank you for understanding. It, it's also, you know, I have to, when I um, rebate something out of that for my um, business accountant, I have to track what I'm giving as incentives, customer incentives. Right. So, you want to know something? What? I burned 2,000 calories today. You burnt, what did you exercise? No, I left the pan of brownies in the oven and took a nap. Oh my gosh, Bill. <laughs> I walked into that, you guys. All I can say is I apologize. I really do apologize. Okay, so let's start with the new stamp set. Um, I just got done with... Are they laughing? Not you guys yet. better yep, not be laughing at him. Now they are. <laughs> uh, you better not be. Okay, I just got done going to our um, on tour... And that is kind of like a mini um, convention that Stampin' Up! has. And I just saw the most wonderful demonstration with this teacup set. And it was enough that I had I had ordered it anyway because I've always loved teacups. I think they're really cute. And I have one from my grandmother that um, just the cup and the saucer that is on a shelf in the in my kitchen. Just to remind me, but this comes with a die set. Some of the dies are missing because we're going to be using them tonight. But I wanted to show you this set and do some, um, do a card with it. This is going to be. Is that a bundle? It is a bundle. So they do save how much, Bill? 10%. 10% if you buy them together. Of course, this is not available now. I have to tell you, I'm doing this ahead of time. Um, the catalog goes live May 3rd. So we're going to be using this set. And I'm going to be pointing out, I'm going to be using this stamp for the sentiment, Take Care of Yourself. This has so many cute things on it. It's got teeny tiny sentiments here. I just can't thank you enough that you can put on all these different size um Tea, ta tea tags, tea tags. Is tea that tags? a is that a word? Is that how you say it? I guess that's how. I guess we're just gonna make it up. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using this. Kind of like wonky. And kind of like wonky. And just like that card that I was showing you earlier, this is the scallop contours dies, and we're gonna be using this one. And we're just gonna do a cute little fun fold here. Well, it's not. Marilyn says she's waiting on that bundle. Oh, I think it's so cute. Look at the ribbon. I didn't show you this, too, from the end colors. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at this. I have got, I've only got two open so far. I haven't had a chance to play with everything yet. It's metallic. So this is the Starry Night. This is the new Parakeet Party. The Tahitian Tide. Uh, what's the ice cream one? Sweet sorbet. Sweet sorbet. And then um, we don't... Do you call it sorbet? I never call it sorbet. And then the other one is Orchid Oasis. And I have to practice saying that. That's kind of a mouthful. Orchid or research. Teabag tags. Say that three times fast. Teabag tags, teabag tags, teabag tags. But I can't say Orchid Oasis very well. Or Sweet Sorbet. <laughs> or Sweet Sorbet. Okay, and this paper that matches is the Tea Boutique 6x6. Well, you're just having fun tonight, aren't you? Well, I'm just reading what they're writing. Oh, they're saying it? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? 
Oh, I should have known. Okay, so this has got beautiful prints Ooh, I like and patterns. Of yes, I'm going to try to show. And patterns. I love this. I love this. I can't, I've got a couple ideas. Ah, so cute. So tonight, because I wanted to use the Orchid Oasis, and then, of course, I chose this as my pattern piece. So I'm going to just pull that out because we're going to cut that. And I'm going to hand wow. these to you. So this has the Fresh Freesia, which has got to be my newest favorite purple in the world. And then this Orchid Oasis, which is kind of no, a... we won't tell Highland Heather that you don't like it as much. I'm going to be... Yeah, I, I do really like the Fresh Freesia a lot. Okay, so let's pull open our pack and let's get stamping. All right, we'll put this aside. And I got a sheet here to put aside. And so where do we want to start? Do we want to start with the back or the front? The back. Okay, you're going to keep me true to who I am? I am. So I have a piece of the Fresh Freesia, which is an in color from last year. It is carrying over this year. And then this year's new Orchid oasis and i have got this cut at four and a quarter by five so it's not a it's my base but it's not a folded base so i just wanted a little eighth of an inch on here What's i'm that? just looking I'm just oh looking at the different she's okay <laughs> he's i thought he had a question nope. so i just wanted like an eight inch um little peekaboo of this color and then i'm gonna make a mat. In fact, we need to do this right now. So this is cut. It should be one, um, four and an eighth, I would assume. Let me see. Four, um, four and a quarter. No, it's actually four and three eighths. So I'm glad I double checked. Yeah. So let's pull out our stamp and trimmer here. Mm. And Let's do a little cutting. I should have wrote my measurements down. I usually do that. Yeah, um, Jackie's asking if it's freezing. Yes, Jackie, it is. Oh my it gosh, was Jackie. Sunny, we went cold, from sunny, cold. That was just in 10 minutes this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think kind of the whole Midwest is turning that way, don't you? Yeah, but think? Jackie's in Pittsburgh. We're sending it your way. And you keep it. You keep it. That or send it up to Canada. Now, what did I say this measurement was? I can't. Four and three eighths. No. Did I say that? Four and three eighths. Did I, guys? Yeah, I must have. So then it would be four and a quarter. That can't be right. Did I not cut this? I might not have cut my paper. Well, let's cut my paper the correct way. So here's four and a quarter. <laughs> I thought this seemed kind of off. Well, here's my screw up for this time. It's getting to be a regular routine by five and a half. Okay. So that means I need to do this at uh, four and an eighth. It's a good thing I can do measurements quickly. <laughs> Four and an eighth by, help me, five and an eighth, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, wait, that wouldn't be right. That'd be too much. Four and an eighth. It was five and a half, right? So it would be four or five and three eighths. Let's see if that works. Ooh. I mangled it. It's okay. Do you ever get ones where you cut them kind of funky because you're in a rush because you're on live and you are trying to be as efficient as possible? Nope. <laughs> then I'm making you go live next week. No. <laughs> How many people think Bill should go live next week? Let's see. I want that trim, though. That drives me nuts when that does that. So I'm going to go one more time. And I'm going to take my time. So, Bill, you're going live next week. Is that right? No. What? Do you guys think Bill should? Let's see. How many people think Bill should go live? It's so thin, I just cut that. I need a new trimmer or new trimmer blade. Let's make sure I've got just oh, a... Oh, yeah. Okay. 
What? What are they saying? Oh, yes, girl, yes. Girl. Oh, they're thinking you should, see? So then if I have that at <laughs> at four and now I'm, I keep losing it. Quit talking. <laughs> <laughs> so this should be four. By five and did I do that right? I hope so. I know. <laughs> Come here. Quit laughing. <laughs> You're making it difficult. What am I at again? Uh, I need it five and a quarter. Oh. If this is wrong, you're in trouble. Okay. Now, we're going to save this piece, and we're going to save this piece. But this one's going to go back into my pile, and this one we're going to use again. So let's, are. Yeah. So let me make sure I did this right. Because I want just a small border on here. I did not. I was just a little heavy on that okay now let's try it you guys <sighs> I think it's I think I'm getting old and rusty and you need to do these no yeah what do you guys want to see Bill do I think we should just force him into it well they, they agree with you all right yeah I could use a break Okay, so I'm just going to adhere these together with a little bit of my Tombow uh, multi-purpose liquid glue. Such a mouthful. Green glue is so much easier. Jim but shoot says an Easter card. An Easter card? Oh, I didn't get anything really Eastery. Let me think. I didn't get anything Easter, did I? I got shaker the shaker card. A shake. Oh goodness, I wouldn't no. put him through that. <laughs> Ah, you guys are so funny. I could teach you, but you'd have to... Oh, thanks, Nick. The most complicated card ever, Bill. We'll do next week. No. Uh... <laughs> we go simple when Bill's on. Simple. Hey, there is nothing wrong with simple. This is going to be a simple card, even though I've made it twice as difficult already tonight. At least we're having fun, right? That's right. Okay, so now I've got my card base. So let's see if I measured this right in pre-cut. So this is six by four and a quarter. Okay. And this is the Orchid Oasis. And I'm just going to bring out my, I'm going to score it at three. So it's six by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to take it and score it at three. Oh. Okay. I see you do? Yeah. Okay. You're... Maybe you should take over this card. No. <laughs> I love it. No, he just shakes his head at me. There's no. not even any consideration to this. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece that I was talking to you about. And this is cut at, let's see, um, two and three quarter by four two and three quarter by four. So I know that I'm going to use this down at the bottom for a little accent. And I'm going to cut this. We can go this way. See, on the last piece, there was some teapots there. Maybe we should go this way. What do you think? Yeah. You think we should go this way on yep. this? Okay, so we'll cut this one at two and three quarter. Now remember to share this card. This so we card. Can have that, or share share this video to win this card. <laughs> for a chance to win the card. That's right. For a chance to win the card. Share my video to your wall is what he's trying to say. That's right. You know what we should sign up on YouTube. You know what we should oh yes, please sign up for my YouTube channel. A tubi. A tubi. Hey, Bill, you know what? What if we did a card sometime that you did and they told you what to do? No. 
Well, you give them two choices, and you have to finish the card how they tell you. <laughs> Are you game? Hmm. What well, they'd have to do it ahead of time. No, that's not how this works. Oh, it's live, but it would take forever for people to get back to us. Oh well, you do have a good point there. Okay. But I'm okay with it if they are. Well, the he does. The new beer mug stamp set. Is that, a, is that something that's in there? There is a new beer mug stamp set. But, but you don't have it. I don't have it, no. Anything I had, I shared on my video yesterday of what I have. So, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. But... And I'm not probably going to get the beer mug one. I, you got your whiskey one. That's right. And you haven't used it. Not once since you got the whiskey one. So if you're going to use it. Next week. <laughs> okay. So now I've made kind of like a little notebook. And I use that little scrap down here at the bottom. Okay. So we're going to take that. And I have got a piece of fresh freesia. This is also cut at two and three quarter by four. And this I'm going to put right on the front. Do you guys ever do that? Like, I'm going to go put it on the front so I have to turn it over to put the glue <laughs> on, even though it's the same on both sides. I do that every time. I have no idea why. So we're going to put this down on the front of this, because this is going to be where you're actually going to write your message on the card, because we're going to attach this to the front after we decorate okay so it's going to go like this and then it'll open like that cute right now let's just put that aside and go on to the next part so let's do a little stamping that's what it's all about so i am using some um thick basic white i'm gonna um stamp my teacup image into uh, tuxedo black memento ink you don't have to use the tuxedo black it's what I chose I like that dark contrast any questions or, or is nope. everyone just loving the idea that I might actually make you do something next week yeah <laughs> all right is it too much pressure no nope. if you don't want to I won't force you I'll be fine okay will you put this stamp up sure will thank you so I've stamped that image down and then I'm gonna bring in some of the new blends I love wow. how bright this is. So let's just start with this. This is the Dark Parakeet Party, and it has a brush tip and a bullet end. What's the light look like? The light? Let me grab it. Wow. <laughs> I know. It's bright. It is bright. Bright. Bah, right. Okay, so there's the brush tip and the and the bullet in. It's really personal preference, but I do feel like I can get when I'm doing finer images on the brush tip. So the secret with the blends, because blends, I know um, there's a couple of newbies on here. Blends are an alcohol-based marker, so you only want to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink um, when you are, well, I shouldn't say that. You can use any of our inks, actually, but um, you want something that is not going to cause bleeding and feathering. So I'm using, that's why I'm using the Memento for my black, and you want to stay away from the black edges because it's alcohol, so it's going to suck and fill in. So I'm going to go quick just kind of in the centers. If I go by the edge, I just brush by quick. It fills in very quick. The difference between this marker and like our um, stamp and write markers, these you can write. It does have a brush tip, but this is what you would put on your marker. If on your, um, not marker, on your um, stamp so that you could do like a couple of images. So Ooh. I'm just gonna run this through here. I'd say it looks neon. It's so pretty, isn't it? I love it. It is bright on camera. Is it? Good, because it's bright in person. I know my glasses are turning. Are they? Dark. <laughs> You've got, he does have those. Uh, Transitions? Yeah, transition glasses where they get dark. So he goes in and out all day long. Well, I don't know. Have you been doing so much lately? Yeah. Oh, you have? But it ain't bright outside today. I know. It's such a weird, it rains, it doesn't rain, 
it's storming there's tornado warnings there's no tornado warnings there's it's just weird and then this is the why do I have this color I don't know I grabbed the wrong color hold on I grabbed the wrong color let's try this okay Fresh Freesia. That's Highland Heather. <laughs> so, and then you come in here, and you got to be a little careful when you're going in between, but you come in like this and fill in your... And on this one, I'm not doing any blending. You can blend the two colors together. When I say blends, they're called blends. You can do that. I'm not doing that. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go in between all of these. But let me just say, for those of you who have the adult coloring books, this is so relaxing. It truly is. Bill, I'm going to hand that to you. And then I'm going to pull over. The one you already got done. Yes. So I've already, I've already um, colored it in. And cut it out with the little teacup die. So cute. I Isn't like. that adorable? Love I it. I like it. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to hand this to you so it doesn't get lost too. I've pre-cut one of the stitched scalloped rectangles from the scallop contour dies. It's different from our stitch so sweetly dies. They have some st stitch scallop rectangles too, but the scallop's much finer. This one is carrying over, which is one of the reasons I used it. And I just want to attach this on to the front of this little piece here. But before I do that, I'm going to pull out the Orchid Oasis. If you say it slow, it's easy, but if you say it fast, just That's, call it the OO. The OO. The Oasis. I'll just call it the, the Oasis. Oasis. That's right. Okay. Go. So I'm going to take the sentiment, take care of yourself. And I'm going to stamp this up at the top. Now, I can I pretty much know I can do this without my stamp and pierce mat, just because I've done it enough. But if I'll, I was doing it, we need it. You'd need it, yes. You want that little bit of cush underneath. So I push it right through the table. <laughs> <laughs> with your whole cans. Whole cans. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a moment for that ink to transfer without rocking the block. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I love, ugh, I've got a well-inked orchid, or no, o yeah, oasis. Please. There we go. Here you go. And so, so pretty. It's a very pretty blue. It looks a little bit darker than the paper. Um, probably because it's very well inked from the factory and also it hasn't had time to completely dry. So while I have that like this, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the back. Now normally I would pop this up, but I'm going to be popping my teacup up. And this is going to be thick enough as it is. And I try to keep things... One stamp. So I can use one stamp when I mail. That's and I do right. want to let you know, for those of you who don't know, the difference on when you get charged more for your um, postage is if it is over a quarter of an inch thick. So if you see this, if it's over that and it can't go through the mail s slot. Oops, let me. This is why I use the green glue, because I need to slide that in place instead of talk concentrate on the project so um it, it has to be able to fit through with your envelope and everything a quarter inch otherwise they start charging you more postage so that's one of the reasons why i do it now i have this here and i know that i'm gonna pop it up as i've already told you that but i'm gonna pull out another little piece and i'm gonna use my newest little handy dandy tool. So before I take those little glueys off of there, I just want to place this. Why? Because, look at how smart I was this time. I feel like I was really smart, you guys. You know how I always lose small things? I put it in a little wrapper, wrapper this time. Like, like a chewing gum wrapper. Yes. So these little hearts that I have cut out of Parakeet Party. They actually are a part of 
the teacup dies. So they come in this little three pack here. You have larger ones, but I only need these little three little ones, okay? Yeah, but did you cut them apart? No, they, it's one die. Let me pull this out, it's easier to see. It's one die, but they're three individual Oh, I got but you. it's so little you could easily lose that die you can still easily lose it I mean they're small enough yeah. but I just wanted them to see and I I always lose them Did you run that through the, the mini cut and boss um yes this whole thing can fit through the mini cut I ran them through the big because I have the big right there oh, okay. but for demonstrations is about the only thing that I use the mini for um I'm, unless I'm on the go, because I think that works really good. And, by the way, for those of you who missed it, I did figure out how to, um, I was using the wrong plate on my, a couple weeks ago when I did that demonstration. So, I think I'm going to have this come here. And I want these little, it's take care of yourself, so I want some little hearts. So, I want them coming up from the cup instead of steam. Ooh. I know, cute, right? So we're going to pull Such this. Inventions. <laughs> Sometimes. I love how you're so into it. Okay, so I'm going to put that. Where do I want it? Right about there. Take care of yourself. And then I'm just going to use my glue. After I get the little nard off the end, I'm going to use it and kind of place these where I think I want them to go. So I want one up higher and maybe one there and one there a little lower each card comes out a little bit different so and then i'm going to use the little putty Ooh, the putty <laughs> i hadn't seen you He's, yet. he is being so comical tonight Ooh, the putty the putty <laughs> the putty you should have heard him just like an hour ago and then I'm going to have this one kind of slide right underneath of that cup a little bit. There we go. Have you placed the cup yet? Yeah. Did you, oh, you miss that part? I missed that part. I was read to see if there was any questions. Oh, okay. So now we have this cute little note card in itself is absolutely adorable. Making a homemade um, uh, like gift card for a bag or something. That would be cute. But then I want to take a look at this ribbon. I... Bill pointed this out. I actually coordinated with my fingernail That's polish. That's right. <laughs> it looked really, she was showing me, and I was like, ooh, look, they match. I know. Yes, lavender. It's such a Easter color. So I'm going to just make a little bitty bow here with this little bitty ribbon, and you kind of have to play with it a little bit to get it, because I want kind of a tiny one, tiny, tiny bow. Just something cutesy. Yeah, and you wanted me to tie that. I don't, don't think so. You don't think so? My big meat hooks that I have. Your big meat hooks. Is that what you call it? <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bitty glue dot here. Fold that over. And I'm just going to kind of roll that up. Oh, you're not using your little spatula? Not on a glue dot. I wanted to roll it. Oh. You think I use the spatula? Is that how you think I make your eggs in the morning? No. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to put a little bow right here on the handle. Okay. Isn't it cute with that little bit of glitzy in that? Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Now you guys can decide while I'm sitting here adhering this down to the base. You guys decide if I need to do an embellishment on this. I couldn't determine earlier, so I thought I'm going to let you guys decide. I think the hearts do wonders. I think so, too. It really pulls out the lime. Hearts galore coming up. Isn't this cute? Mm -hmm. Just a little love note. These are what I call love notes when it's not full size. Even though it's full size and it would fit into... Let's get that centered. So does it need... I couldn't determine if it needed... A little, a little more. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I didn't, I couldn't determine either because I, I feel like, here's the other one. And this one had the difference on the inside. 
but they're, you know, like essentially, yeah, the same card. My hearts are in a little different placement, but they're both just so stinking just cute. Just wink a Stella on the heart. Oh, a wink a Stella. That is such a good idea. France. Well, France, I'm surprised Angie didn't say it. I think she lives for wink a Stella. You know, we could do it on the branches, too. No, just on the hearts, they said. Just on the hearts, a wink of Stella. Okay. We'll do a little Stella. This is a clear wink of Stella. This is my favorite way to put um, a little bit of glitz, and I will hold it up. Let me do this one while I'm right here. You guys, I hope you enjoy these demonstrations. Oh, oh, uh, squeezing a little much. Mm, we got a man. lot of Wink Estella on this. So much for a little Wink Estella. <laughs> Hand me a tissue, would you? <laughs> right there. Yeah. I'm just going to dab that end. We got, that takes away too much of the color. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> bloop. There we go. Boy, it's bright, too. <clears throat> it is, isn't it? Does it show up well on camera? Yes, it does. I don't, I'm going to stand up because I got to see if it, yeah, it's hard for me to tell. You guys, isn't this adorable? It is. They love it. So cute. Now this has made this nice and firm to have two pieces of cardstock and then have some DSP on there. Um, I think this is cute. I do want to share one other thing um, before we go to the drawing. My cousin was telling me yesterday that she has a friend who will go, I think this is just so adorable, she will go to the thrift stores. You know, China is not a thing anymore as far as, you know, registering for your China and stuff like it used to be. And she will pick up um, little teacups at the thrift stores, wash them up really good, sanitize them the whole nine yards, and she'll bake a little cake in a teacup and when it's someone's birthday, and then take it to them, all wrapped up, gift wrapped nice. Wouldn't this set just be really cute to for people's that birthdays would. to send a little teacup cake and a nice little card? I think that's such a cute idea, and I thought it was really wonderful that she shared that with me. Okay, so these are tonight's cards, so these will be in the drawing for next week. These, Remember, share. Yeah, share you have to share to get in it, and you have to let me know you shared. Um, Facebook has some really weird settings now that I, it's not showing me everybody who shared like it used to. So this is the card that we made last week. We really? Because there's a pile of them in here. Yes, you guys did a wonderful job at sharing. Thank you. Um, <laughs> this is the card that we made last week. Like I said, uh, I know that the stamp set is going out. I think the masks are going out if you don't have them. This punch is stained, but I, the daisy, the large daisy punch is going out. These are some of the things that are on the um, last chance items. So this is what we're, what? Jean says she has to go to a, the gifts, the thrift store now. <laughs> oh man, you said share and there are about 20 people share. Oh, thank you guys so much. Okay, so everybody shared and I actually went through today and um, put all the names. I was really thrilled. There was 44 shares. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's word of mouth. I could use any referrals. You guys tag them in here if you know somebody who's a craft or two that might be interested. And let's go for the drawing. Bill's going to draw two names. I got them. Okay. Jody Bartholomus? Uh Oh, Jody Barthelmus. Jody Barthelmus. So thank you so much for sharing, Jody. Um, I have her address. That's not a big deal. I'll okay. send it to and her. And Laura Kemp. Oh. Kemp. K -E -M -E. Laura Kemp. Okay, Laura Kemp is new. So, Laura, you'll have to um, message me here on Facebook on Piccadilly. She's on. Oh, Laura, yay, you're on. I need your address so I can send you this beautiful card. 
So, um, you guys, if you're placing an order under $150, please use my host code. I would appreciate that very much. Yeah. And um, I will be, we're, I'm going to get back into Piccadilly Parfaits right now. I'm just trying to deal with some health issues. When I get that under control, they'll be back up and running. Um, they'll just be in a video form instead of a live. So I will see you next week right here, 7 p.m., unless you're my pearls or my VIPs. If you want to know how to get in my VIPs group, purchase $50 in the next six months for me and you're in the group. All right. Is there anything else, Bill? No. Just have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. That's right. Bye. Bye-bye.